Hey guys, it's Dandelion, and to today's video I will show you how to get the glory of the Hellfire Radar achievement. Now this achievement is very easy to do, however there are a couple of achievements which require you to come here with two people. So whenever you get this achievement you will be awarded with this infernal dire wolf mount. This is a green looking wolf, basically. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's a decent mount I guess. Uh, it could be better but it is what it is. So before we are going to enter this raid, as I said, you need two people here for certain achievements. So there's one achievement which is called Get In My Belly. That's the achievement that you can't do without two people. So to do that achievement, come here with a friend or a guildie or whatever and you will get this achievement. Then there's also another achievement, Bad Manor Off, which is also a lot easier to do with a friend. Or if you have a hunter, you can solo it. So with that out of the way, let's start with these achievements. Before you enter this raid, make sure it's on normal because that will make all these achievements a lot easier to do. So the first achievement that we are going to do is called Nearly Indestructible. Now this achievement is very very easy to do, just have a class with a little bit of movability I would say and you will have no problems at all. So the way this works is you have to clear the whole courtyard and whenever you do that the boss will spawn. Whenever the boss has spawned you want to damage her and eventually she starts running back and the encounter will start so whenever the encounter starts um, you can start earning your achievement basically what's going to happen is there will be a lot of ads spawning and they will keep spawning and spawning and spawning and i think eventually if you keep killing them over and over they won't spawn at all anymore but i haven't tried that because it, it became so boring so what you want to do is you want to kill all the ads if you don't kill the ads then they will start running towards your cannons and whenever they reach your cannons they will start destroying it Whenever your cannons reach below 90% HP, you won't get your achievement. So, what you want to do is you just want to keep killing them over and over and eventually these siege vehicles will start spawning. So what I did was I was just killing all the ads and I was destroying these siege vehicles for a while and eventually the whole place was flooded with these Valfire munition boxes because Whenever you destroy a vehicle, it will drop one of these boxes. What you have to do is you have to bring a couple of these boxes towards your cannons. And whenever you do that, the cannon will start shooting towards the door. And eventually it will break that door. And that's when the encounter is over. So all you have to do is just keep killing everything. And eventually if you think like, okay, well, there are enough uh, fire ammunition boxes nearby. Just grab them, bring them to the cannon. And meanwhile, while you are running towards the cannon, keep killing the trash because, well, like I said, if the cannon reaches below 90% HP, you won't get your achievement. That's basically it, guys. It's a very easy achievement. Just keep in mind that your cannons are not going to get below 90% HP. So next up, we have an achievement called Turning the Tide. Now, this achievement is also very easy to do. Um, all you have to do is aggro the boss. Don't damage him. Don't do anything to him yet. <laughs> um, just bring him to the right towards the wall and you will see that there are five of these orcs standing on top of it now all you have to do is wait for him to cast his barrage and let him kill all these orcs with his barrage now don't worry you don't have to kill all these orcs in one barrage so just stand still there keep positioning yourself towards the wall towards these orcs and whenever he has killed all five of those with his barrage then move towards the other wall and there will be five more guardians standing on top of it now you just want to do the same thing you want him to kill all these ads with his barrage whenever he does that kill the boss and you will have your achievement the achievement called waves came crashing down all around is also very easy to do all you have to do is clear the room first because otherwise the boss won't spawn so just keep that in mind um, whenever you do that uh, the boss will basically become active, he will start leaping towards the middle, all you gotta do is nuke him down and you will have your achievement. Don't fear the reaper, it's very easy, all you have to do is nuke down these three bosses and that's all there is to it. So the next achievement called a race against slime is basically just nuke kill rock and you will have your achievement. So guys, this achievement that we are going to do now is called Get In My Belly. Now this achievement is very easy to do, however, this one requires two people. What you want to do is make sure that the boss is mad at you, so aggro him and he's mad at you. Um, what you are going to do then is position yourself next towards the stairs together, and what's going to happen then is the boss is going to cast some random shit at first, but eventually he will start channeling Feast of Souls. Whenever he is channeling Feast of Souls, one of you will be sucked into his belly. Now. The person that's being sucked into his belly wants to kill three of these crones. Whenever he does that, there will be spawning a soul of the crone upstairs. 
outside the belly. The person that's still outside wants to kill this crone. After that, he wants to kill the boss and that's all there is to it. That's how you get your achievement. So for the next achievement, which is called Protoss, all you have to do is ignore the item that's laying on the ground and you gotta DPS down the boss. Now, if you are lucky, he instantly dies, but if you are, well, kinda unlucky, it doesn't really matter, but um, he can start flying back up in the air on one HP and you gotta wait till he flies back down. And whenever he does that, you will have your achievement anyway, but it can just take a little bit longer then. So the next achievement is called I'm a Soul Man. So this achievement is not that hard to do, it's kinda easy, especially if you have a druid. Um, if you have a druid, all you need to do is have mass entanglement as a talent and that way you can easily solo it. However, I did this with my friend because he still needed some achievements to get the mount. The way we did it was we first cleared the room. Whenever you kill four of these adds in the room, the robot will start to get active and you want to destroy the robot. Now, whenever you do that, this red guy will start floating out of it and my friend was just tanking it in the corner. That way I could just focus on the blue portal. Now during the fight there will be four of these waves per portal where these haunting ghosts will start flying out of it. Basically what you have to do is wait four waves and then kill them instantly. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So whenever a wave spawns out of the portal you want to use mass entanglement. Whenever you've done that and the second wave will spawn, your mass entanglement will be off CD, so you can just use it again. So you do that four times, and eventually you will have around 24-ish ghosts, so you can just nuke them down, nuke the boss, and you will have your achievement. Now we are going to do, this land was green and good until, well, this achievement is basically just nuke down the boss, and you will have your achievement. Next up, we have an achievement called You Gotta Keep Them Separated. Now, all you have to do is nuke down the boss. However, do this achievement after you have killed Vellord Zakun, because if you don't do that, then you have a chance of the door staying locked because you've nuked down the boss so fast. Next up, we have Non-Lethal Enforcer. Now, all you have to do here is ignore all your AoE abilities, just use single target damage on Valhari, and you will have your achievement. Okay, guys. Only two more achievements left. Now, the next achievement that we are going to do is called Bad Manoroth. This achievement is very easy to do. Just get an extra person with you or get a hunter if you want to solo it. So the way this works is, first of all, you want to start killing these two orcs that are not marked on cross. So you will keep cross alive. One of you will be marked with a debuff. Whenever that debuff goes off, there will be a Doomlord spawning. Once that Doomlord has spawned, you can kill the guy on cross and the boss fight will begin. So whenever the boss fight starts, um, you want to start moving the Doomlord towards the boss and you just want to stand still there. However, Manorov will also try to like push you off the platform, so just be aware of that. You want to push Manorov to around 35% HP and then eventually he will start casting Empowered Fellseeker at the Doomlord. Now it costs around 3 to 4 Empowered Fellseekers to nuke down the Doomlord. Just stand still there, don't get thrown off the platform, let Manorov kill the Doomlord, and whenever the Doomlord dies you can kill Manorov and you will have your achievement. So the next achievement that we are going to do is Echoes of Doomfire. Now this achievement is very easy to do. All you have to do is aggro him and eventually he will start casting an ability which will spawn a Doomfire, which is basically that fiery green orb. Now whenever that orb spawns, you want to just single target damage Archimon till he dies with the orb up and that's all there is to it. Well guys, that's all you have to do for Glory of the Hellfire Raider. And that's how you get your Infernal Dire Wolf mount. If you guys liked this video and if it was helpful at all, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe. If you got any questions at all, just put it in the comment section below or, well, message me on Twitter. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. And, well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.